in God to be a generous and loving God. God loves us and we get to be generous in that love. We come to a time where we recognize God's generosity and your generosity as a community. We thank you so much for making ministry happen right here at MCCDC. There are many ways to be able to give. There's a QR code that will uh, happen on your screen. There are QR codes in the sanctuary and in, there's a giving station in the welcome hall and a giving plate. Those are just methods to be able to give. The why to give is much more important. The why to share our testimonies and the why to bring mental health awareness this month. And so I want to invite T.L. Green, a member of our community, to come forward and share your testimony. Welcome, T.L. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome again. Um, attending to the mental health of our siblings in the world is one way of showing generosity, and you've committed your life to making a difference, a positive difference in the lives of others through your coaching and consulting. The first question I have, though, is when did you first come to MCCDC, and how has MCCDC positively impacted your life? I believe 2013 um, is when I first experienced the church, and surprisingly, 1206 Fifth Street used to be my address, so I remember when this church didn't exist in this place. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, so uh, tell us more about what led you into uh, coaching and how you address mental health issues through the work that you do every single day. Before I go into that, I'm going to give you the second part of your question. Okay. <laughs> the impact, yeah. feeling home, yeah. feeling safe. That, that I remember that very clearly walking in the door. I felt very safe. Mm -hmm. So that was enough for me. To feel safe was enough for me. Now, on to the next question. Coaching. The pandemic happened. And it tore my world apart. What I believed was my world. I was a hospitality sales professional for 20 plus years. And when that happened, I realized that God, why did you take my career away from me? I was a little angry. Mm. You took my security, my paycheck every two weeks, my vacation, all the networking. You took all of that away from me. And then I realized he didn't take it away from me. He gave me what my purpose was. My purpose was not selling hospitality industry. My purpose was being here in this space so that people could feel comfortable knowing that there was someone else out here ready to help them, listen to them, partner with them in those areas of transition. Because I was now in transition, completely in transition. And very open. Oh. Wow. So, so afraid. If you don't mind me sharing, very small. I woke up, I remember waking up one morning and I was like, oh, I'm gonna be a life coach. <laughs> Sis, you don't know anything about life coaching. You know nothing about life coaching. God, where, what are you talking about you're gonna be a life coach? And I was like, go ahead, stop playing. Go ahead, stop playing. This is how I'm talking to God because he's my friend, so this is how I'm talking to him. He's my friend. Two weeks after I woke up, my cousin says to me, Toto, you know what? You will be a great life coach. Hold on. <laughs> no one was in the room with me when I had that epiphany that I was going to be a life coach. It was just me, my bed, and God. So how did she know? But then I realized she knew because she was the vessel that he used because he knew I would listen to her. Right then and there, I was like, okay. You win, you got this, I'm going to follow. And I said to myself, lead me, guide me, mm. and I won't question. Mm. And I haven't. I haven't. Amen. Lead, 
died, stay open. Mm -hmm. And it occurs to me that you're still in the hospitality work. It's just your hospitality now is for what people hold in themselves and helping to create additional space for that. And how can people be in touch with you to, to learn more and for you to work with them? Perfect. So I have left some information back there at the resource table. My website is www.holistically, spelled correctly. Mm -hmm. You catch it. Holistically. Yes. Because I'm working with you, mind, body, and spirit. It, it all goes together. I cannot work with you in your mind if your body and your spirit are not in the car with you. So www.holisticallyoriginal.com. Everything spelled properly. Right. Yeah. It's no jazziness, no jazziness. The only thing that's jazzy is you. And, and I, I want all of my clients new to know I give complimentary 60-minute sessions to start because most people have never experienced coaching. And with coaching, just show up. Show up and be your best authentic self. My passion is the LGBT plus community because we've been the most underserved, right? And it's so important for you all to know that there is somebody out there that's not there to judge you. I'm not judging you, sis. I'm not judging you, bro. I'm not judging. I'm just there. We're going to do this together. We're going to partner. That's what it's about, Reverend Dwight. That's so. all about. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.